Hello again, Digital Circuits Part 2. So what we need to look at again is the toaster. Where the expression we wrote was equal to xy to y x z y or x y z. Now an interesting thing here is because we reduce it down and we say we can say that f prime is equal to x y z and from the last video clip we proved that these two were were equal so you have to realize that these represent an actual digital circuit which will have a number of components those components map back down to money and the question is how much money can you save because you have another circuit that's the exact same so if you use this circuit as opposed to this circuit well how much money is that going to save you so the best way to do that is to draw out those circuits. So we'll draw out the first circuit. So we say we've got X, Y, and a Z. So it really doesn't matter which way we do this as long as we stick to the rules associated with it. So we know that we have X and Y here as being anded with this full expression inside the bracket. So what we'll do is we'll draw out this first full expression. So we'll take a Y, we see here we have a y complement, so we pass the y through the not gate, and this gives us out not y. Now this is being passed into an OR gate with x, z, and y. So we take an x, we have a z, we take an x down this way, jump them over the y, bring it out here, we take a y out this way, and a z. So this is passing through an AND gate. And this gives us X, Z, Y. So you see that NOT Y is passing through an OR gate with X, Z, Y. So we bring the NOT Y up. We bring this up here. We pass these through the OR gate. So we have NOT Y or X, Z, Y. Now it's always good practice to write in the resultant of each of these components after the component, just for clarity purposes. And in the exam it might be nice to use a ruler and a pencil just for clarity. We're using blue here just so you can see it a little better. So after we have this component here, we see that this full expression here is being anded with the X and the Y. So if we take an X out this way, we take a Y, we bring the Y we jump over the X, we go back up here, we pass these through an AND gate, we have X AND with Y. Now this whole expression, so the X AND with Y, and with this full expression in the brackets, is being passed through an OR gate with the X, Y, Z. So here we have X, Y and Z, so we take an X and a Y and a Z, we'll bring this out. This is going to go into the final OR gate. But first we have to pass this X and Y into an AND gate with this full expression from the brackets. Bring this up here. So we take this out, so we have X and with Y going into the brackets of not y or x z y and this is going into a resultant or gate and here's where we have the full expression f okay so the important thing is to make sure that it's clear we have all of the results of each of those gates written just after the gates and we just do each element inside of here now the resultant, so this is F. Now the resultant circuit, F prime, is simply going to be three inputs, X, Y, and Z. And we see here that this F prime expression is just yielding down to an X and a Y and a bit Z. So you simply take three of those inputs. And we pass these through one AND gate and we get out the resultant F prime. 
So now the question is, how much money can we save, yeah? It's not a big question, yeah? So if we look here, well, we've got one, two, three, four, five components. Sorry, and the inverter is six components. And down here we've got one component. So there's a difference of, obviously we subtract the number of components, five components. It's saved for each circuit. Circuit. So what we can say is that if each circuit costs, or if each component costs one euro, well then, we save five euro per circuit that we build. That's the answer. So now we've all, we're all done. We've drawn our two circuits. We've figured out how many components we're going to save and how that equates back down to money. We look at one euro per digital circuit. So if we're all happy, we'll draw a little happy face and we'll finish.